Now, while several efforts are being proposed to find amicable and lasting solutions to the headers farmers' crisis in the southwest, this time in Ogun State, there is a cry for justice and equity. Equity over the nefarious activities carried out in the past. Plus TV Africa's correspondent, Marianne, I took a trip to Ogong State a few days after the Yoruba activist uh, Sunday who visited a community in Yewa to find out the authenticity of this outcry by the host community. It has been a series of denials by the Ogong State government in the recent time. Most recent one was that Sunday Boho did not come on the governor's invitation to chase out Fulani settlers, especially the herders. Prior to that, a community in Yewa, Iselu, had also alleged to have sent a petition to the state government over public harassment of its people by soldiers on the invitation of Fulani herdsmen. This the government also denied, explaining that it is aware of the incident but not in receipt of the petition. To ascertain these claims and get some clarity, our first point of call was to hear the version of the Eselu of Iselu Kingdom, Oba Akintunde Akiemi. The attacks are from the Fulani X-Men. I became a real father in 2005, and ever since I became an Oba, I've been having, the, been having that challenges in the community. And as a matter of fact, because I feel we have to approach it lawfully. I went to court and we got an order from the court, restraining them from coming to that community. Because, you see, we've been having this issue of some saying Fulani have freedom of movement, they can move anywhere in Nigeria. We are not saying Fulani cannot move. Every other tribe can move to anywhere he or she believes he can live peacefully, not at the deterrent of people's lives and properties. Not even coming to rear the cattle alone. They rape women, are women in that area, destroy the corpse. If I won't happen recently that they have to cage the husband and rape the wife in front of the husband. Recounting the alleged connivance between the uniformed men and some criminal herdsmen, he expressed his disappointment over the docility of the government of the day, hence the invitation of Sunday Igboho, whom he described as a liberator. Ever before this year, when Fulani comes with their cattle, we don't give them any settlement in our areas. But they believe they can bring in their cattle. And they have been bringing their cattle in. But this year, we just discovered that we saw soldiers escorting them with the cattle, beating the villagers, harassing them. And we wrote a petition, myself and two other, two other of my colleagues. We wrote a petition to the government. We wrote to the army. We wrote to DSS. We wrote to the police, expecting response from the army mainly. We served the petition, and we have the acclaimed copy from the office of the governor. I think the government, they are in the best position to tell us why are they not yielding to the cry of their people? At least you have, these people we're talking about are Nogu State in the and they have rights, and their rights is being truncated. But Sunday Bo came to the state, and he paid me a cosy visit in the palace. And I think I have to tell you this, that Sunday Bo is for liberation, and liberation is what we want. Responding to the other's claims, the special advisor to Governor Dakwa Biodun on public communications, Remy Hassan, explained the possible bureaucratic bottleneck which delayed the supposed letter to his principal. So the date that I mentioned that we were yet to receive his letter, I wasn't aware, nor was it true, that it had actually reached uh, the table of the bureaucracy is one thing that uh, people should uh, recognize when you submit a letter, uh, the open registry where such letters are received, you get an acknowledgement immediately. But of course, it passes through tables before it gets to the person to whom it is addressed. He also reacted to the alleged invitation 
of Sunday Gboho, which he explained that government statement was misunderstood. If government has said uh, we haven't invited him, that's correct. Igbo himself said uh, he has been invited by the community affected by the farmers' headers clash and that he was going to honor the invitation. But of course, some questions came to us as uh, government to say whether he was welcome or not. And of course, what we said is that it's as a state that practices inclusive government, we welcome consultation. And consultation does not amount to invitation to now begin to put the entire uh, security architecture of the state in the hand of someone who is not even in the security organogram. As the call for Southwest governors to step up security and protect its citizens against attacks continue, with a lone crusader, Sunday Boho, in the mix, all eyes are on these governors to see what their next move will be. Will they follow in the footsteps of the Ondo state counterpart, or will they be going in a different direction? All that remains to be seen. Marianne O'Conn reporting for PLOS TV Africa. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.